This is episode number 305 of the Inner Fight Podcast, Fitness in Under 3 Minutes, brought to you by Smith Street Paleo. Fitness in under three minutes. This is all about better self-esteem. Lucky we're in a good mood. Self-esteem is the idea that you have about yourself, Andre. As we know, poor self-esteem, you dig yourself into this state of negativity, dig yourself into a hole. High self-esteem, you sort of pull yourself out. So, mate, we've got five tips on how to get your self-esteem as high as possible. So, let's kick it off. The first one would be positive self-talk, to talk yourself up to make sure that you understand your values and that you believe you're worth your respect and happiness. It's basically the inside out approach. Yeah. By first getting happiness with yourself in order to achieve happiness with others. Mate, some people might think that we're just doing this for, I don't know, just for marketing or something like that, but it's actually pretty much proven that exercising helps our self esteem. Why? It makes us look better because we start to shed weight and we start to look good. It makes us feel better through all the chemical reactions, the endorphins, and all the adrenaline going through our body. So you want to increase your self-esteem, start exercising a lot more. The third one would be don't beat yourself up for small mistakes. I mean, we're all human. The most important is just that we learn from it and that we move on. Absolutely. I think that's one of the biggest things, those small mistakes we make. People are dwelling on them a lot too much. And to that extent, mate, people, I believe, and I know you're big into this as well, they need to start focusing on things that they can really influence. I think that's the main thing. If we start to worry about things outside of our circle of influence that we can't do anything about anyway, we really start to stress ourselves out. Exactly. want to increase that self-esteem. Let's focus on what's inside our circle of influence, as we call it, and really, really make sure that we're all over that stuff. And then we'll start to see that self-esteem really, really creep up. Exactly. Last one to kick it off is the understand that the inner victories will lead to the public victories. Yeah. It means that you have to focus on yourself first and make sure that you get everything right before you'll be able to achieve great success with others. It can't work the other way around. Yeah. It's impossible. Mate, as a final thought, what do you think is the difference between high self-esteem or the fine line between high self-esteem and what we generally know is a little bit of cockiness? Where do we sort that out and how do we play that into action? Cockiness will be loud. Yeah. High self-esteem will just be silent. It's silent, isn't it? Exactly. It's just a confidence, a sort of a silent confidence rather than... I think a lot of cockiness is, is a lot more talking and a lot yeah. less doing, exactly. isn't it? The more you need to improve, to prove what you're worth... Yeah. The less you're actually the worth less it. The less you're worth it. That's self-esteem. That's five tips on how to get it better. This has been Fitness Under 3 Minutes. Thanks for listening.